Chris Button with Mayfield Toyota, giving you a complete walk around on how to make the very most of the navigation system in your Toyota vehicle. This is very current and would apply to 2016 and newer Toyotas. I'm in a 2019 Toyota Tundra Crew Max right now. Let's get started. So, simple things first, plus and minus button will act as your zoom in, zoom out. Uh, the vehicle has three different views. Right now, it's north facing, so north, east, south, west. When I give this guy a touch, it'll change it to where we're actually facing, northwest, and it's the map in the background that will change accordingly. Uh, if you push it again, same type of view, but now it has a 3D slant to it. And if I push it once more, back to the original. So three different views to choose from. Uh, now, I do apologize ahead of time for this flickering on the video. I know it's distracting. Uh, I tried playing around with different views, and unfortunately, there's not much you can do there. So just uh, just bear with me. When you want to go and punch in a destination, D-E-S-T, address, got to make sure you put in the province accordingly. Now, here is where I want you to, to start at street address and not city. Uh, city is actually a three-step process and it is an opposite way to which you would give it or put it in. So that's why it's not super helpful. Where street address, you're going to put the house or business number in and then select OK. So I'm typing in the address to the Fairmont Hotel downtown. 10065 and it's on 100 Street. It's going to give us a bunch of choices. Just select the one at the very top. Okay, all right, here it will ask for the city, but thankfully it's really quick. Boom, there it is. Hotel McDonald, select go. Destination has been set. Now here is where you have some options. Uh, if you select OK, it's going to take you home, or it's going to take you there in the blue way. If you select three routes, uh, the vehicle will typically give you two or three different ways to get there with a breakdown for kilometers and time. So just select whichever way you want to go and then select OK. Please proceed to the highlighted route, then the route guidance will start. Okay, now if you want to adjust the volume, simple things, select apps, and then from here, setup, voice. Right now, she has a volume of four, adjust her to whatever you want. Now, if we go back into navigation, let's say that happened to be your house, you can go and plug it in uh, as a home address. Very easy. D-E-S-T. Go home. Set it now. Yes. Now we can easily access it by going into previous destinations. There it is. Awesome. Yep. Enter. And then here you can actually give it a name if you want. You can even change the icon from a blue flag to something cool or neat like a cheeseburger or a hammer or my favorite just because I'm a golfer, the golf club or a Ferris wheel. All cool, hilarious, neat things that you can play around with if you want. For right now, we're just going to select OK. Home has been saved. Awesome. Uh, when you go back here, if you have punched in a destination and you're not going there anymore, you can always select delete destination and it'll get rid of it for you. Now, a cool thing that you can do, this is the final thing that I'll show you, you can actually use the voice command to go home. Super simple. Here we go. Go home. Setting home as your destination. Crispy. So yeah, that is your complete rundown on the navigation system for Toyota vehicles. Uh, if you have any questions, 
comment and I'll be sure to answer them back. Thanks for watching.